for fun. And it's always a fun time when our friend Dave Kiauer is here from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Dave, Thanks put so her there. Thanks for having me. Of hey. course. Welcome back. Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. I won the dance contest. And look at this. There, I you this got really an apron. Cool apron. <laughs> Isn't that That's great? the prize here. Yeah. That's the prize. So we're doing some uh, Irish theme here we, for St. Patty's Day. We are. So St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and I'm going to try to get you off that kind of green beer funk that sometimes people get in. Okay. And we're going to do nothing but Irish whiskey. All right. So, so Mike is driving me home today. Three straight Irish whiskeys and then two cocktails. So okay. the first one we're going to talk about is one called The Quiet Man. Oh, definitely the, not me. Yeah. Well, The Quiet Man gets its nickname from the mm. gentleman who t uh, hosted bar. And what he did was he would listen to what the Irish called the crick, which is basically gossip. So he oh. was real quiet. So this is named after him. Has a little bit of vanilla, some creme brulee flavors, mm. a little bit of light caramel. I like that a lot. What do you think? I will drink it all, so I'm going to put it down. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to move on to Telemore Dews. Okay. 12-year-aged uh, 12 Irish whiskey. So this is straight Telemore Dew, but aged for 12 years for maximum smoothness. Mm. Really a beautiful whiskey. A little bit spicy, has some creamy vanilla, slightly smoky, and a little bit of tea leaf flavors in there, Ooh, too. Very that mature. Is, you do definitely get the smoky in there. Yeah. I like that a lot. Really nice. Mmm, has a nice smell to it. The final straight Irish whiskey comes okay. to us from Bushmills. They are the oldest Irish whiskey distillery in all of Ireland. Wow. And this is their Red Bush. Okay. It's a little bit floral, a little bit fruity, almost tropical, and very well rounded. So, <laughs> quite different. When you think about all these different whiskeys, they're all going to present themselves a little bit different. Ooh, that's really good. I like that. You like that? I do like that. And I've heard of Bushmills before, too. Yeah, absolutely. I, Doyle's like judging me for all the drinking I'm doing. <laughs> well, the interesting thing about whiskey in Ireland, it's Gaelic for water of life. So, oh, see, don't you feel more look, lively? You, you always teach me some type of lesson here. I learn see even that? more and more every time you're yeah. here. Yeah. I'm so going to take that to the St. Paddy's part. Did you know that Gaelic? <laughs> It is. Yeah. Water of life. Water of life. Exactly. Okay. One more whiskey fact before we move on to this one. Whiskey fact. If indeed, because whiskeys are made all over the world, if the whiskey comes from a country that has an E in it, then whiskey spelled with an E. If not, it's spelled without the E. Canadian whiskey, no E. Okay. Ireland, E. Oh. How about that? Look at that. So next we're going to move on to Patty's Irish Coffee. Okay. So this is Patty's Old Irish Whiskey. We put two ounces in there. And we're going to go ahead and put six ounces of coffee in here. And just to make it extra fancy, I have for you a little bit of whipped cream for Ooh. the Ooh. Look at that. That is fancy. You think of everything, Dave. How about that? Look at that. Now try not to get a whipped cream nose. Oh, that's just going to happen. As you enjoy that one. That's, that's just going to happen, Dave. So the beauty of this, obviously coffee. <laughs> I hear laughing off. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Perfect. Got a little mustache going? Yeah, that's called an Irish mustache. An for Irish those, mustache. For those of you at home, that's an Irish mustache. You know what? I feel like... It's unexpected what I'm going to do here. <laughs> okay. So what else have we got? That's really good. It is good. Yeah. So the final cocktail, and this is going to really knock your socks off, is called a writer's muse. Now, this particular one, when you came over to do that tease in between, yes. I was muddling. So let okay. me explain. You enjoy that a little bit. I will. And I'll explain how this is made. Okay. So we started out with one and three quarter ounces of writer's tears Irish single copper pot still whiskey. So a beautiful uh, example of Irish whiskey. Then we added three quarters of an ounce of keep it simple syrup. So keep basically simple. simple syrup, exactly. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Then what I did was took all of that and muddled in a couple strawberries in my shaker. Okay. So we're muddling that all together with six uh, mint leaves. Then finally pouring that into our glass and topping it off with a little bit of club soda. And really, what a beautiful, it's, it's got strawberry, it's got mint, it's, it's really got tasty and raspberry, it's really a beautiful Like, drink. I know that, you know, St. Patrick's Day, it's still kind of cold in March, but I could mm -hmm. drink this next to the pool, you know, poolside, have a good time. Exactly. exactly. I don't know if any pools are open during uh, St. Patrick's Day, but we'll uh, give it a try. Dave, these were absolutely delicious. Well, one final thing, if it's okay. okay. Yes. So, my mother's na maiden name is McFarland. Okay. Yeah, I was Polish, but I want to say happy St. Patrick's Day to all my McFarland relatives who are watching in Altoona. To the McFarlands, there to the Irish. Go.